put on Dior, cause I just love fashion. Let's make the play for the pack, he tapping. Told him I should be the dog, I take my cut from the back end. I run up some racks, racks, real fast, never crashing. I already know how I be in these videos. I ain't wasting time, so let's go ahead and get into it. First up, I seen it. I seen right, it. These be the hoes that only give head, or they're very well known for their head. You already know the attributes. 99 throw game. Usually a six out of ten looks wise. Most likely has slurped up at least half the football team, and most definitely your girl's worst nightmare. The thing with these girls is mm. that most of the time guys don't end up actually catching this girl for whatever reason. Maybe it's because of their looks, or maybe it's Jesus, he just that good, and after they just feel like chilling. But they always make sure that she get them right and get them right she will do most of the time these girls have no self-respect and most definitely have daddy issues they're also training for their future p hub or only fans job so keep pretty much too. all in all i get the throw goes eight out of ten how many throw how many throw goats y'all know at school like that are known for unanimously giving the the craziest dome no matter what they always get you right most of the time they are pretty chill people next up the coochie is coochie type of thought Oh, what the? All right, these be the ones where, well, let's just be real. Most guys only hit them up when, like, they're down bad. It's late night and all your other hoes are on rendezvous, not available at the time. Or maybe you're just ugly yourself and you just got no better option. When you're in one of these predicaments, usually hit this girl up. Most likely, they're the last resort. I mean, absolute last. Like, I mean, jerking off would probably be better than heading them up. But at a certain point in the guy's brain, you just get to the point where you, you never hit up. So how's that even a story if you, if you never hit up? How bad that post nut clarity will be, which I almost just let y'all know. It will be bad. It's your only probably. Reason. It is what it is. The thing about these hoes is they be so cocky, bro. They be thinking they're the shit and they're actually attractive just because they're easy like gang you is not all facts true. facts like yeah, yeah. That, bro. i'm not even gonna say i'm not even gonna say nothing you up because you're their last resort and they're already knowing that if they hit you up you giving it up so that's it they didn't have to resort to you they won it that's how it is most of the time these type of girls are whores just because they seek male validation and they want to feel wanted it's honestly sad but hey they gotta do what they gotta do yep. most of the time these whores gotta be whores boyfriends so hey i guess it kinda the thoughts gotta be the thoughts the all the damn time. they gotta they suck the cock they, they gotta get cheap, beat bro. down by the cock you know, all in all, hey, that's how they rock. A They're serviceable. That's the only reason why they get a two. Oh, so for my boy. Oh, oh dude. Dude. Next, y'all already seen this coming. We got the ratchet hoes. I'm not even gonna lie. Every school got some ratchet hoes. Let's keep it a bean. It don't even matter. It don't even matter how you know what I'm saying. You know, every school got some ratchet hoes. It's just how many of them you got. I to you, I ain't got no personal bias in this, but the the fucking ratchet hoes might be the worst ones on this list. And I'm not saying this because they're ratchet or they yell all the time or because their breast stinks from eating all them hot Cheetos. The reason, the reason why I think they're the worst on the list is because they're toxic as hell. Toxic as hell. That is a fact. That is a fact. And over possessive as hell. Like, I swear, these hoes claim that every clouded guy is their man. It doesn't matter if they've only linked once or if they've been linking for, like, years, bro. If they got any type of clout to their name, that's their man. Like, they that's... can have a whole rotation of guys just lined up that's every single insane. week. But if they find out another girl was messing with one of their hoes, especially if they're one of the clouded hoes, <laughs> it's on site, bro. Straight hands, boxing, fate, it don't matter. Straight on site, bro. They either finna talk shit about you all the time or they just finna go straight straight up to your face and fight your ass, bruh. And it's just the most weirdest and toxic thing ever, bruh. Because again, if this you know is not your I guy. Mean. Why are you mad that other girls are fucking with your guy that's not your guy? You are just on his roster like he is just on yours. Like, don't hate the player, hate the game. And matter of That's crazy. Some of these girls be having a, like an NBA roster of guys. That's kind of insane to me. You know what I'm saying? In fact, you are the player, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. Yo, ass mad for no reason. You are doing the exact same thing as he's doing. You he do like, don't see him getting mad. Because he look like Lil TJ mixed with Polo G. Because this he don't care about like. you like that. You're just another hoe in his roster, bro. And that's all you ever will be. His homie probably recommended you to him, bro. Because I know you f***ed him. You're getting passed around like the ball he's playing with, bro. Like, lock in. All in all, I'm giving these hoes a goddamn negative 10 out of 10. Trifling, stinky, bro. Next, we got the liar. All right, I ain't gonna lie to you. These be the worst ones, bro. Yo.
I got merch now. Even better, actually, I got a new brand. The brand's called nah, 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 nah. L promo, L promo. I'll, I'll be brand does well, my boy, but you not it might be brand. you. These type of girls genuinely piss me off, bro. Like, these are the type of girls that would just straight up just lie about their body count. They lie about their body count. They lie about who they fuck. They lie about just anything. Facts. Like, they just lie for fun. Like, if there's ever a guy who's down bad and just outright brave enough to try and eat her out, no matter how that guy does, she's finna say it's the best head she's ever gotten in her life even if that motherfucker was biting that shit bro like she finna say it's great like these be the True. type of girls that will try to like just gaslight and lie to you yes you bro oh you my god how like, you finna smash all those people but then lie about your body count like are you ashamed of who you are like you the one who decided to rack up all them bodies bro. i ain't gonna lie i'm, I'm gonna ask y'all this a question do we need to be nerfed <laughs> yo the good yeah, that's the same i'm gonna tell you now if you had to, like, say, you know what I'm saying? You find a girl, you know what I'm saying? Find her charge, woo you woo You know what I'm saying? You figure out how many bodies she has. What is the limit? What is too many bodies for you to date a girl? What's the limit? Because I got a number. Bro, but There is no reason to lie about that, bro. Embrace who you are. You are a hoe. Just accept it. Like, I'd rather a hoe just be straight up honest to me about her body count than Facts. just to lie to me. The honest, the honest holes is the best. I ain't gonna lie. 99. That's insane. Bro, because at least I know what I'm getting into. These girls who lie will get you into some trouble, bro. Because half the time, these girls have boyfriends. And they just be True. lying to him like they be lying to you. Yep. Evil world we live in, bro. With all that being it's said, a, it's a crazy world. get a justifiable zero. There is no redeeming factor about these girls. Next That's is fact. a silent hoe. Alright, these be the girls that you would at least expect to be whores. Mm -hmm. Playing five. They usually chill in the back of the class. Only have one or two friends. Usually have like a shot. It be the low key ones, the low key. Girl aura. Don't really talk too much, but like when you do talk to them, they're usually nice. Usually these type of girls are smart too. They always let you cheat off of them or get their homework. That being True. Said, though, these girls are absolute whores. Like I swear to God, these be the worst ones. I'm not even gonna lie to you because everyone thinks they're innocent, so everyone tries to slide at them. And under all that shyness, these girls are secretly freaks yep. in class they're thinking about it always be the silent ones wait <laughs> they just be ringing in their ears funny enough these type what? of girls have a very high body count probably one of the highest at the school but they're very secretive about it and they do mess with a lot of guys outside of school so most of their bodies are pretty low-key watch out for these type of girls they, they'll really sneak up on you and they'll want you to cuff them and the crazy part about it is you'll think they're cuffable too because of how quiet yep it is. how quiet and low-key give these an eight out of ten next is the behind the bleacher club aka the school whores okay these are the Whoa. Type of girls that just be fucking in school it okay I do not know a girl that literally be doing this like mid day of school. Never, never, never. No matter where it is, what's the place, what classroom, what closet, what bathroom it is, they gonna go crazy. Usually these type of girls have strict parents. That's why they do everything at school. But these type of hoes, the whole school knows about them. Y'all know these type of hoes been caught multiple times before. And they're most likely on the school exposed pages. Actually, they're definitely on that shit like the school is exposed pages. This, that's crazy. I think every school now has a shade room, bro. That's insane. I'm glad. I'm glad, bro. When I was in high school, they had no. I think there might have been like, like when I was a senior, like during COVID time, like second semester. I think that's when it started popping off. I think. Be real. Their talents are on the internet for everyone to see. They also always like recording their shit too. Like they really like watching their film back and like correcting themselves. They're really hard workers. I'm not. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> he said watch him fail. That's funny. And they don't necessarily have daddy issues. They just got parent issues. Most of the time, these type of girls have two-parent household. Good parents. They're just a little bit strict. And, I mean, it's pretty justifiable. Like what they daughter doing. All in all, Damn. I'm going to give these hoes so, I don't mm. like that they be freaking in the school. But usually, these type of people are chill people. Next, we got the party hoes. All right, these be the type of girls that just go wild at a party. Like, they be at party. Not going to lie to you. Never been to a high school party. Never. Never. Parties every single weekend, Never. every single party at the school, you gonna see them there. Even if it's not at your school, you still gonna see them there. And when they at that party, they like a main character. They the life of that shit. Throwing back hella drinks, throwing back hella ass, smoking with whoever got some shit on them. And at the end of the night, they always end up with a new guy who after that night, they'll never talk to again. These are some girls that are just preparing for college. They already know they finna be whores in college, so they just getting some practice in right now. Except These practice. Are pretty basic though. Like if you ever just try to text them on some like real relationship type shit, it's just gonna be. 
it's fry as hell. They only have personality once they off that drink. Without that shit, it's like talking to a wall. You be trying to text them, you over here be having a conversation with yourself. Bunch of yeses, nos, I don't knows, and whys. Overall, I get the top of girls a seven. Next, we got the D1 hoes. These are the type of girls that only mess with athletes. I get that is a fact, nigga. That is a Bad. If you're not over six foot, you're not committed to some D1 college, and if you don't have an NIL deal, they're not gonna mess with you. They only mess with the elite of the elite. But these elite of the elite be playing them like little whores. Then they be on their gold diggers. Simple. They're the gold diggers. Isn't loyal. They're gold diggers. Like them, like bitch. What the fuck did you expect? You thought he was gonna be a respectful young man and treat you like the queen that you think you are? Hell, you thought he was gonna be loyal? You thought he was gonna care about you even though you're a basic hoe? You thought he was gonna care about you either though the only thing you offer is your body? Like, gang, you is the Lulu, bro. Like, what the hell are you it's doing? These girls always be trying to play the victim in that shit too. Acting like they don't know what they doing, bro. Like, you can just admit it. Like, all you really wanted to do was just taste a D1 after. You was already knowing he wasn't gonna settle for it. Hey. mad that you couldn't get him to lock down. Some of y'all hoes just trying to lock it down for life. All that bullshit. Crazy as hell. I'm trying to live out their NFL NBA wife dream. What these hoes fail to realize though is if you're gonna have an NBA NFL husband, I can prove. you gotta be an NBA NFL wife. And to be that, you gotta be wifey material. A lot of these hoes ain't wifey material. Not e at all. E. Don't hate the player, hate the, the game. game. All in all, I give these hoes a three. Ho, ho, hoes. Next, we got the cloud chasing hoes. Okay, these be the hoes that always be trying to get with the famous person at they school. Either that or the top athlete kind of like the d1 hoes but it's a little bit different with these guys their different. dream isn't necessarily to be an nfl wife or nba wife their dream is just to be rich and famous that is it them famous rapper baby mamas that did nothing for their fame except for a famous nigga, that is their dream they want to be Facts. there when they grow up that's who they idolize why they idolize them i have no clue and these type of hoes are at a young age so if you have any type of clothes, if you get up in any type of way these hoes are going to try to slide at you and they're going to be obvious as hell Chris Brown ain't never lied, man. Yeah, these hoes don't love. They trap on these hoes, bro. They not with you because they like you. They with you because they like your status. And they'll let you hit as many times as you want to as long as they can get a little taste Jesus. of that thing. All in all, I'll give these hoes a negative 10. Besides that, that's pretty much it. Appreciate all y'all for watching. Besides that, uh, That's a W video. It's facts. It's facts. Let's maybe go back to high school for some reason. Maybe go back down high school memory lane.